and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console monitoring each of their respective systems on board the orbiting outpost. They're monitoring the systems on board for the crew of Expedition 31, who's currently up there in space. Starting on the left, we have NASA astronaut Don Pettit, and in the middle, Expedition 31 Commander Alog Kononenko from the Russian Space Agency. And on the right, we have European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, also a flight engineer on this expedition crew. The three have been on board uh, since late December and are, begin are coming to uh, the latter part of their first week as the full Expedition 31 crew. Starting off with Commander Kononenko, his activities for the day uh, include quite a bit of placement and repair work over in the Russian segment. He was starting with some upgrades on a number of the laptop systems that control uh, a lot of the different functions on that on those Russian modules. Um, moving through three of the uh, main Russian laptops and giving them some software upgrades. He's also continuing some work that he did yesterday on the Russian toilet system. Moving and replacing a few filter parts in that to ensure that it's still operating at peak efficiency. He'll also be doing some cargo transfer work with the 47 Progress vehicle, which has been docked to the station for some time now, delivering supplies to these expedition crews, and also doing some work on the Electron system, which works to generate oxygen for the astronauts to breathe on board the station. Moving on, we have Andre Kuipers, who is involved in quite a few biomedical experiments today, setting up the Ultrasound 2 hardware, which is an actual ultrasound uh, system similar to those you can find down here on the ground that the astronauts can use for a number of uh, biomedical experiments using their bodies as the test subjects. Today he was working with the integrated cardiovascular, doing an ultrasound on himself and uh, focusing on the heart muscle and any of the atrophy that it may go through when exposed to the microgravity environment for long periods of time. He was also taking some uh, ultrasound images of his veins throughout his arms and legs for the vessel imaging uh, experiment study, which looks to evaluate the changes in thickness and compliance of the blood vessels in these astronauts, again, during those long-duration space flights during and after long-term exposure to microgravity. He was also teaming up with Don Pettit today for uh, some work on removing the air selector valve on the carbon dioxide removal assembly. This is one of the systems on board the station that looks to scrub carbon dioxide from the air. As the astronauts exhale their oxygen, it turns into carbon dioxide and left unchecked could create a pretty unsuitable atmosphere for the astronauts in a short amount of time. So uh, he and Don Pettit were working today to do a few maintenance activities on this and keep it working. And speaking of Don Pettit, he was also involved in uh, doing an integrated cardiovascular scan earlier with that ultrasound 2 hardware. He was also working on the integrated immune study, doing a health survey. Integrated immune looks to explain any uh, immune deficiencies that arise in the astronauts, again, from that microgravity environment. And he was also uh, working on the carbon dioxide removal assembly. And then following all this, uh, a little bit later today, he'll be setting up the VO2 max hardware for testing tomorrow.